The next patient is 59-year-old woman uh, with a squamous cell esophageal carcinoma who were operated last year uh, with uh, esophagogastric anastomosis. Uh, she presented with postprandial vomiting and weight loss uh, from three months, and the gastroscopy showed uh, important gastric stasis and normal anastomosis at 16 centimeters of the incisors. The isotopic gastric emptying study showed pyloruspasm and delayed gastric emptying, so she is scheduled today for peroral endoscopic pyloric myotomy, uh, which will be performed by, by Mark Bartet and Horst Neuhaus. And uh, we are going down into the entrum towards the pylorus, which is there with the spasm. Okay, you see, I cannot pass, and I, I don't want to try to pass not to induce any inflammation, but you see this is a, uh, this is a pyloric spasm, okay? So now we, we discuss with Horst, uh, you can increase the, the anesthesia because he's moving a lot, uh, about the exact place uh, for doing the mucosal entrance. Usually we we'll, we'll do it at uh, three to five centimeters from the pylorus, uh, in the axis of the greater curvature. I think you are yes, doing absolutely. the same, okay? Yes. So, you see we have a, a, a small uh, deviation of, of the pylorus, mm -hmm. so we, we will have to take care when you will reach the pylorus there, okay? Okay, so give me the needle, please. Okay, I have it. I forgot, so okay. push, push the needle out, please. Okay. So the aim is to prepare a tunnel as, okay, as you do for POEM. In the esophagus. Exactly. And then to approach the pyloric yeah. muscle, to cut the muscle, Thanks. and okay. finally to close the anthracite exactly. of the mucosa. So, needle in. Okay, yes, you're right. The aim is to do a tunnel, a short tunnel, to be in front of the pyloric arch and then to cut the pyloric arch. So now I'm, I'm going to use the TT knife G which is a triangle knife that allows uh, in injection. So maybe uh, Horst will, be, will, will give you some explanation about this new device. Yeah, you have an additional channel, so you can cut, coagulate, and inject, uh, which uh, accelerates the procedure, uh, because it's very important to have an appropriate space Out. between the mucosa and the muscle layer. So now, Mark, pull with a triangle knife. The alternative is to push it forward. Yes, but as the patient and I want surgery, when I push, it's not so simple to get yeah. a good access. And huh? as long as you have this nice cushion, the risk of approaching the muscle layer is yes, you have to take low. Pull in, please. Okay. Now I will look to my entrance to increase. Ah, okay. You have to increase. Okay. Push it out, please. So use a saline solution with a little bit indigo carmine. Yes. You also add some with adrenaline. Solution. No, 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 no adrenaline. No adrenaline. Yeah. No, no, no adrenaline. I don't like that. Uh, but uh, we, we, we added some uh, viscous solution, which is called, called Voliven. And Voliven is a, is a viscous solution with amidon. Mm -hmm. okay. We, we have a question from the audience. Yeah. Uh, why not perform balloon dilatation for, of pylorus? Because it's, it's not so working. Huh? Okay. It's, the, the effect is only, it's not durable. This is the problem. Yeah, and we, we don't know this about this technique either, do we, Horst? Honestly. No, that's true. There are also no control trials. And uh, uh, this Out. is still if, part of the feasibility trial. And we have to do randomized control trials, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The problem also with the Botox, I mean, we were just looking at some of the results of the feasibility trials. And obviously, when a new technique is, is set on, especially if you assess 
uh, symptoms in patients with motility disorders, uh, the, the, oh. the effect is very high. It's up to 86%, uh, 86% in patients after five months, which is obviously quite short. So uh, I think we really need to have good uh, randomized okay. trials. And you're currently conducting one, uh, aren't you, uh, Mark? Out. Mark, do you, are you planning a randomized trial? Yes, we start a randomized trial uh, versus uh, Botox. Uh, so we, we, we just finished our series with uh, 35 patients. And uh, we identified the... Uh, Approximately 35% uh, uh, of 80% uh, uh, of uh, success rate. Uh, in the, so in, in, in. Mainly, mainly in patients with uh, with um, postoperative conditions. I think it's not working. The, the pump. Yes. Ah, yes. 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 Okay. So which okay. are the best indications? Di the best indication Diabetes is post-operative and diabetic and uh, idiopathic. Yes. In diabetes, we have appro approximately uh, only uh, only 50% uh, um, of good response due to advanced diabetes. Yeah, Push yeah. it out, yeah. please. Because it's then also motility disorder of the stomach in general. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. It's not only the problem of the motility yeah. of the stomach. But of uh, general motility, yeah. small bowel, everything. So you know, I try to go very cautiously. Because I don't want to have any perforation. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, we finally found the pyloric arch, I will show you, which is not so thick. And uh, we, we check uh, every time uh, the position to the gastric lumen. And maybe you can see at 6 o'clock, you see the elevated part, elevated tunnel, because we reach the pylorus. And you can see that we have no more pyloric spasm. And I cannot understand why, because we, we did only uh, submucosal dissection. We have, we have, we have not uh, until now done the uh, myotomy, but I observed this fact in a lot of uh, in a lot of patients, uh, and and I cannot understand why. Okay, so you see the blue tunnel. Okay, and mm -hmm. now we are going back to the mucosal entrance to the tunnel. Okay, you see, I'm going back. Okay, and you see at the deeper part, okay, this is a pyloric arch. You see the white arch? Okay, give me the, the triangle knife, I will show you. And the blue part, just behind the pyloric arch, is the submucosa into the bulb. So you have to avoid an injury in this place, because if you do an injury of the mucosa, you see the pyloric arch? Yeah, you yeah, see now? very well. Okay. So uh, if you do any injury behind, you have a mucosal perforation, yeah. and this is a disaster because you can have a peritonitis, of course, okay? You see? If I push with, with my, okay? It's not so thick. No? Not so thick, huh? it's, it's surprising. Huh? I, I was thinking we, we would have, a, and, and, you, and you saw, we have no more uh, uh, pyloric spasm no. huh? by dissecting only the submucosa. So uh, triangle knife out. So it's better to do the myotomy and the pilorotomy in a retrograde fashion. Why? Because you have to avoid any contact with the submucosa and mucosa into the bulb, okay? So I pull back. Okay, you see, we, we, we did already the pilorotomy. Okay, and now okay. what I do, do usually is to extend over mm, two yeah. centimeters on the, the muscle layer, on the muscle the layer in the stomach. Okay. I do that in retrograde fashion. I take care because I, if I could, I don't want to do serosa injury or perforation. You see? 
So you, you're not going until you see the peritoneum here. Oh, so I go very slowly. Do you want to see the, the yellow peritoneum here, or how deep are you going? Knife. Okay, pull in, pull in. No, okay. there is still the serosa in between. You see, you see, you have still the serosa only, yeah? and the pyloric arch is here. It's cut. This, this is the difference to the and esophagus, here. where we have no serosa. No serosa. In the, in the esophagus, esophagus. But, but yes, here. Of course. We are. And, okay, you see? Okay, push it out. I think we have nearly finished, uh, Horst, if you agree. Great. We yeah. are going to check. Very nice. But you see, it was, it was, I told you it's, it's difficult to do a gastric poem. Okay, pull in. This is a mucosal entrance. Mm -hmm. This is a tunnel. And this is a myotomy, yeah, yeah. antral myotomy, and a pyrotomy. Okay, now you cannot see anymore the, the pyloric arch because we have, you have yes, a retraction, yes, and now yeah. with the contraction, you can see it again, okay? So we, we, we did a complete cut, but my advice is always take care not to do any injury no. in the submucosa on the bulb uh, uh, part. So now we are going to check. We are going to check. You see the blue infiltration of the mucosa and of the pylorus, okay? And now I want to, to I don't just only want to see if I have no mucosal injury in this part, okay? And you see the blue part has, has crossed the pylorus, okay? Good. Very, very good. Okay? So I think for me it's finished. I, I will go again in the, into the tunnel to show you. You see the patient. Okay? We are into the tunnel. Okay? And you see the complete yeah. pylorotomy and myotomy. Okay? And we have not to extend more because if no. I extend more, I'm, I will be in the, at the level of uh, the mucosal entrance and it's dangerous. So have you some question? Are you convinced or not? Fully convinced. Yeah. It's okay for you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Nice. Dr. Barthé, so uh, sorry, 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 we are a little, little bit uh, late. Um, and then do you confirm that you will close the hole with we can clip? Maybe increase the, the, the sound because I cannot hear anything. Okay, sorry, uh, Dr. Barthé. You, yeah. you hear me? Yes, I yeah. hear you. Okay, uh, we are a little bit late. Then, do you confirm that you will close the the hole with the with clips? Yeah, of course, of course.